Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what are the drawbacks of using vector in C++? So the first answer is it over allocate memory which sometimes could be very bad in terms of performance. And the second answer is whenever capacity of vector increases it copy all the elements from previous vector to the new vector and we will see what is that. Okay, so to demonstrate I have used I am using this code here. If you have already watched my previous video, you might be having the idea what is the size and the capacity, but I will give you the same example here. Okay, so what we are doing here is we are creating a vector of integer and we are printing the size and the capacity. So here it will be 0 and 0, but now again we are pushing one element into that vector. So the size and the capacity will increase. Okay, we will see that how it will increase. So let's run the code here. So as I said, size is 0, capacity is 0. After inserting one element, it became 1 and 1. So I'll copy this code and paste it several times so that you will get the idea here. Okay, and we'll again compile and run. So you see here, when it is becoming 1, capacity is 1, size become 2, capacity become 2, size become 3, capacity become 4. And size become 4, capacity remains 4, and size is 5, then capacity becomes 8. What is this happening here? It's just a simple thing. When your size increases from your current capacity, capacity gets double. Okay? You notice here, initially it was 0, then it became 1, then the capacity became 1. When your size get increased by inserting one element, then the capacity got double from 1 to 2. Then again you inserted one element which make the size 3. So this 2 became 4 here. And then again you inserted one more element but this make it 4 and the capacity was 4 so that capacity didn't increases. Okay. Now the capacity was 4 and you increased by 1 which makes it 5 so that capacity becomes 8 here. And you increase again so it becomes 6, 7 so the capacity remains same because it is not crossing the capacity. Got it? So how internally it is working? How it is making this capacity increased? and let me tell you guys, internally vector uses array, okay? Not a link list or anything or tree or something. No, it uses array and you know you cannot increase the size of array dynamically. So how it is doing like this? So remember this, whenever it is doubling the size like this 1 to 2 and 2 to 4, it is creating another vector and copying the previous vector into the new vector and keeping the rooms for new insertion, okay? So here you can see when your size was 2 and the capacity was 2, you increased by 1, so it became 4, from 2 to 4. So here the free room is 1, because your current size is 3 and your capacity is 4. So there is one free room in that, okay? And here you see when it was 4 and you inserted one more, which makes it 5, so it became double by 8. So here also it did the same thing. It copied the previous vector into the new vector and it deleted the previous vector or I should say it created new array internally and it copies the previous array into the new array and delete that previous array. This is how vector works internally. Okay. Now look at the answer portion here. What I said it over allocate memory which sometimes could be very bad in terms of performance. So as you can see here it is over allocating when you inserted one more element which makes it 5 but it allocated 8 size array. So that remaining 3 was over allocated okay and maybe you don't want this or you can just consider some case where you are inserting 1000 or more than that time so it will become so much big which is not required also sometimes okay so that is one problem and the second problem is whenever capacity of vector increases it copy all the element from previous vector to the new vector so that's what I said it will copy the previous vector into the new vector and it will delete that previous vector. You can call internally as an array also. Okay. It will delete that array and it will create that new array and copy the previous array into the new array. These are the main drawbacks of using vector in C++. But still we use vector because there are lots of advantage of using this and I will cover that in next video. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye bye.